We have a special treat for you today with glass animals and creatures in heaven. It's a visualizer. It's a simple visualizer, but it's the creatures in heaven by glass animals, a single slated for release on the 4th of March, 2024. Although I've only just noticed it on YouTube. So it's only come out really in the last week or so. So it's part of their space themed album, which is yet to be named. The song was first teased with people receiving letters from Dave Bailey, the lead singer of the band. The website was then updated with multiple references to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Posters and billboards were also found across London. The SoundCloud account, Hal, and I think that's 9 million, was also posting sound snippets throughout this. What's the song about? Well, it's about bittersweet memories of a past relationship, reminiscing about love and intimacy experienced in the late hours of the night. The lyrics, judging by the lyrics, depict a sense of longing and nostalgia for a time when the lovers felt they were like in their own little world, portrayed as creatures of the night. Let's listen, enjoy and come back for the breakdown of the lyrics. And cheap fake blood What to think about when you think about love I'm dumbstruck when you're tender But it's three in the morning Be in the moment Here in the moment Free in the moment It tears through my head Does it haunt you too? Diamonds in the dark in your old bedroom You held me like my mother made me just for you You held me so close that I broke in two It tears through my head Does it haunt you too? Never will Creatures in heaven Back then we were just 
Well, I have to say it's a song about reminiscing of the past. And it really does, because the lyrics, and the more you listen to it about the creatures in heaven, it's a longing for nostalgia for a time, like they said, and I've said before, when they were in their own little world, hey? And, the, and he's referring to it as him and his lover being those creatures in heaven. But love comes and goes, and there must be a sense of, not just nostalgia, but regret. And I think it, it's nice to break down lyrics of a song that simply depict lost love that you actually regret about. Like you go through the breakup, you move on with your lives, but then when you reflect, you think, you know, with that particular person, I actually have fond memories. It's sad, isn't it? It's a bittersweet pill in life to take that you try to move on, but you've got such intimate, personal feelings towards that person that slipped through your fingers, as you say. Now, what they've said about the single and the album are they're getting ready to drop the new album. I think they already have, because I think this is, if memory serves me right, and I'll just bring it up, this is off the album, and it's called... I love you so, and I can't say the word because I'm on YouTube, but it begins with F. And so, effing much, I'll say, 2024. Four, and it is track three of 10 of, I'm going to say, if it's anything like that, it's going to be an incredible album. As always, their standard is so, so high, these guys. And then we go back to what they say, and they said, the song which dropped in early April from the Up and Coming studio album is a follow-up to 2020's Dreamland. Now, according to the press release at the time, the 10-track album, which I've just mentioned, is full of songs, each sharing an intimate love story set against the backdrop of the universe. And that would explain, because if I go back to the album and I give you some of the titles, it says, Wonderful Nothing, how I Learned to Love the Bomb, I Can't Make You Fall in Love Again, White Roses, On the Run, Lost in the Ocean. It's all symbolic and metaphorically emphasizing stages in a person's life where love has come and gone. And it's just, it's almost biographical. You get the sense it could be. But it continues that Creatures in Heaven, that this particular song, is also about being in the moment and enjoying the time together, even if it doesn't end up working out. And that is so true. And I say it to my friends. I had some of the best times I had in my life was with my ex, even though numerous times on videos, I've only reflected on obviously the bad because he was violent and not narcissist and psychopathic and all the things we hear today and are actually normalized in a way where we're not afraid of saying those words anymore we just say what you know what a person is and how we categorize them and what they were about for the benefit of others to see the warning signs because in if i had seen the warning signs of my ex's behavioral attitude towards me i wouldn't have gone into the relationship but yet like the song creatures in heaven i had all these romantic things in my head and i said oh i still remember the time we were here and we were there and we were in cyprus and we were you know elsewhere great memories i do because i'm you know when i go on holidays i like to make it a memory i like to make it funny i like to be the person that stands out being so sociable to people because that's the side I tend to keep boxed funnily enough and Ireland is noted for being a very outgoing country yet I'm the kind of person that's very inward in many ways so this song is about that time the split second a year or whatever having the capacity to be enormously formative and life-changing Glass Animals uh, frontman Dave Bailey said even if it's over or it doesn't go as planned or it dies too soon, it's still beautiful. They love and care and the feeling in that moment lives forever. It certainly does. It does. You can never go back. And if it turns out to be B 
bittersweet. I always say, look at the sweet side of it. What, what attracted you to the person, what you did enjoy. It mightn't have lasted forever, but you still had moments. And they always dismiss that kind of a conversation because they just want to vent their anger. If they've moved on and heard their ex has got somebody else and they haven't. But it never really dies because otherwise you wouldn't bring that person back up in conversation. And if that's how you choose to see it, that's how you choose to see it, says Dave. And the verses, Creature in Heaven, are packed with loving and longing thoughts of missing you, which we're going to explore now because in verse 1, what it says was three in the morning making love. And that's a beautiful thing to start a song with. You're, you're talking about the physicality of making love, you know, an intimate part of your relationship. Laid on the floor of your apartment, bird's eye view, the two of us. So after making love, they, they held each other and looked up, you know, through the window of the apartment out into the sky. Face in makeup, cheap fake blood. What do you think about when you think about love? Well, what, what I think about is I had it and experienced it. And I keep it as short and sweet as that when people say, I say, I never lost in life. I had love and I've experienced it. And I've been grateful to have had that experience, good or bad. And it continues, I'm dunstruck when you're tender, but it's three in the morning, be in the moment. I love those words, be in the moment, here in the moment, free in the moment. And I feel that be in the moment is being present. Here in the moment is, here I am, reflecting on a moment of the past. And be free about enjoying that moment. And don't feel upset or bad. Just be glad you had the experience. It continues, it's tears through my head. Does it haunt you too? So you do reminisce. It opens up with, does the other person even think about those good times we had? And I guess depending again on how the relationship finished, they probably do. Diamonds in the, in the dark of your old bedroom. You held me like mother made me just for you. You held me so close that I broke in two. It tears through my head, does it haunt you too? Never really said that I loved you too. No, when you're in a relationship, it's actually in the wonderful relationship I'm in at the moment in all these 16 years I think I've only heard it maybe a dozen times from my partner in 16 years think about that but the interactions the things we do on a daily basis the fact we're under the same roof sharing the same meals buying the same food and planning things for the year and paying our bills and keeping ourselves warm and happy that people say that would make up for it it does but it's nice if you do things even within the household that intimate space to hear those words but I, I just have to put up with I have a partner I, I went from an extreme violent partner to a very loving person who just doesn't say those words but it would be nice chorus I don't think I realized just as much um, just how much I miss you we were young and so in love. We were the creatures in heaven. I love it. I don't think I realize just how much I miss you sometimes. And I've got to say for my ex, and I've said it to my current partner, I do miss the fact that I felt very independent in the relationship in the sense that there was no constraints, no um, hindrance of being yourself. It was beautified. In other words, it was encouraged and the freedom to come and go for him to be on holidays on his own with his friends doing what he wanted and me to be here on my own doing what i wanted suited both of us we weren't this couple that planned holidays together every year we had external holidays outside our own time away together and it just became bitter because other people started to interfere in the relationship you know, it's just, but I still miss the good times. And verse two continues that diamonds in the room theme and how much I miss you theme. And I don't see the point in, in a subtle romance. It continues towards the end, 10 ton heartache sitting on your back, scared of the crack where the light comes through. We're all scared of the dark clouds that start to appear in a relationship that's fallen apart. We all hope for those beams of light to lead us back on the path to 
redemption and to, uh, holding hands and being in love and doing all the other wonderful things. But when you say so long cowboy in the lyrics here, you're so cool, cash in hand with the memory of you. I thought, you know, what is that about? And for me, that cash in hand with the memory of you, that has to be about, it doesn't matter how much money somebody would pay me, the memories of you are worth more than what we spent, what I lost in the relationship, building, you know, buying this, maybe furniture, holidays, all of it. It's an expense. It didn't go to waste because I have fond memories. And throughout the song, it emphasizes that idea that love can transport us to a realm of serenity and joy, even if it's only temporary, you know, temporary. The song captures that wistful reflection in the intense emotions and intimacy shared between two individuals in the past now held as cherished memories and that's the way they should be it really is glass animals thank you for creatures in heaven and thank you for listening take care for now